Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus is Lord. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every lying spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus, every false demon, go! Every unclean evil spirit, I break your power and I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Woo! <laughs> Did anybody go all of a sudden when I said that? Oh, all these demons come out of you. <laughs> you clicked on this link and all of a sudden you're getting delivered. <laughs> anyway, now the Lord told me to make this video for the last two days. And I finally was just sitting here and I was like, what am I going to do? I don't know. I'm bored. And so now, I, and then I remembered. So here's what he wanted me to do. He said, take the stars falling from the sky and make that your reference point. Boom. That's your reference point. And then we're going to go from there. We're going to go back in time and forward in time in various verses where we see the stars falling from the sky. So I'm going to start in Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. Actually, chapter 6, and, and uh, here it is. Um, Revelation 6, 13. And the stars in the sky fell to the earth. Okay? Now, we're going to go to Revelation chapter 12. Revelation 12, 3. Another sign appeared, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its head. Hold on. Okay, verse 4. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. Okay. Hold on. There's one more verse that the Lord told me to do. Get your Bible out. And hold these three different places in Scripture. Put you know, put your marker, get, get a little piece of paper, and mark each one. So you, we're going back and forth. I don't even know what I'm about to say, by the way. <laughs> Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. In all right. Matthew 24, verse 29. The stars will fall from the sky. Okay? So those that's your reference point. So wherever you see stars falling from the sky, that is a reference to worldwide thermonuclear war. Okay? And all these three verses point to the same event. And if you look in the Old Testament, anywhere you see anything about the destruction of Babylon, or, and it's all over, I can't read the prophets for more than a few pages before you start finding God talking about judging his own people for their disobedience. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, how many times does it say, Oh, Israel, for ye have fallen away, and ye have worshipped other gods, the gods of the Ammonites, and the gods of the Moabites, and ye shall, you know, and I will make your land a desolate place, and, you know, the blood will flow in the streets, whatever, you know. All right, so, so, um, what you need to do is get your Bible out, and and find where it says the stars in the sky were flung to the earth, or stars, multiple stars, not one star. If it says a star, that's a different thing. That's a different event. Okay? If it says, I behold, I saw a star falling from the sky, that would be something different. It says stars, multiple. Wherever you see multiple stars falling from the sky, that is a reference to worldwide thermonuclear war and if you get your bible out and you look it up so now here's what we're going to do we're going to we're going to take all three scriptures where we see stars falling from the sky and believe me there's more than just these three if you do a search you'll find wherever else it says that in the in the word of god okay and we're going to 
take all the scriptures and we're going to put them all together and try to put together one clear picture of what happens when World War III happens. Okay? So I'm going to start in Revelation 12. What causes World War III? Revelation 12, 3. Another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. Now this is the, if you read your Bible, the government and regime of the beast, the Antichrist, is a, has seven heads and ten horns. Every time you see in the Bible seven heads and ten, and it's written in, in the book of Daniel, it's written in the book of Revelation, that is the beast the government and regime of the Antichrist. Okay? It's also described as an enormous red dragon. What is the mascot for China? A dragon. What color is China and Russia when you look at a map? When they, or What color are their flag? Red. Are those big nations? Yeah, they're enormous. So I'm going to reinterpret this. Revelation 12, 3, then another sign appeared in heaven. Russia and China allied together along with seven, na seven nations with ten leaders. And seven of those leaders were kings with crowns on them. And they swept one third of their nukes from the sky to the earth. I'm just telling you, that's... Just saying. <laughs> you might say, where'd you get that interpretation, sucker? From the Lord. All right. Now, let's see. Go back to Revelation chapter 6. Just before it happens, let's see what happens before worldwide thermonuclear war. I watched as he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, and the whole moon turned blood red. And the stars in the sky fell to the earth as figs dropped from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. Another version of the Bible says as late figs. That means this is a second strike. Because it's a late, this is your, I'm telling you. It's a second strike. But now let's go back to um, Matthew 24 and see what happens just before. The sun will be darkened. The moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky. Wait a minute. Well, Revelation uh, 6, 12 says the sun will be turned black like sackcloth. So the sun will be darkened. Okay, so it, it's got to be the same event. And then look what it says in verse 14, Revelation 6, 14. The heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up. Let's go see. So right after those nukes come down, the sky is rolled up like a scroll. Let's see what it says in, in Matthew uh, 24. Right after. The stars fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. The Bible, another version says, then will appear the sign of the coming of the Son of Man. It's not the coming of the Son of Man. It's the sign. It's the sign in the sky of the coming of the Son of Man. So, um, in Revelation, uh, Matthew 24, 30, where it says the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, that word heaven has to also mean sky. That's not the heavens, like the heaven, the highest heaven where God lives. So, Right after the stars fall from the sky, in Matthew 24, it says the sign in the sky of the coming of the Son of Man. But in Revelation, verse chapter 6, verse um, 14, it says, right after the stars fall from the sky, it says the sky is rolled up like a scroll. Now the Lord told me the sky rolled up like a scroll is a mushroom cloud from thermonuclear war. So that means... That the sign in the sky of the coming of the Son of Man is also the sky rolled up like a scroll. Now let's see what happens right after the sky is rolled up like a scroll in Revelation chapter, chapter 6. 
Then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both slave and free, hid in caves and, and among the rocks of the mountains. Now what would cause the kings of the earth and the military leaders, the top people in the earth, to be hiding in caves? And another version of the Bible says in the dens of the rocks. It's thermonuclear war, and these are bomb shelters and fallout shelters. And the Lord spoke to me and told me, those are bomb shelters and fallout shelters. Well, let's go to Matthew 24 and see what happens right after the sign in the sky of the coming of the Son of Man. Then will appear the sign in the sky of the Son of Man. And then all the peoples of the earth will mourn. So, when the sky is rolled up like a scroll, everybody's going to be hiding in the dens of the rocks, the rich, the generals, and they will be mourning. All right, let's go to Revelation 6 again. What happens after... Oh, just so you know, every island is moved and every mountain is moved worldwide. So when World War III happens... It has something to do with Russia and China, an enormous red dragon flinging stars from its tail, meaning those are the, your land-based, silo-launched, intercontinental ballistic missiles. And it says it's only used one-third of them. So what's that mean in Revelation 12, verse 4? One-third, when, when the whole, after World War III is over, Russia and China have retained one-third of their nuclear arsenal. Just saying, that's what the Lord showed me. You may not like it. Now, what's scary, what's sad is, so many people out there are looking at North Korea, and and they're like, oh, poor, poor Japan, poor Guam, poor Hawaii. No, what you don't realize is it's, it's Russia, China. And they're going to strike the mainland. It's not just, oh, worry about Hawaii and Guam. Matter of fact, they might not even, they might only do a limited, limited strike on Hawaii and Guam just to take out the military bases there. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so what happens after everybody, so, so after the sky is rolled up like a scroll, Every island is moved, every mountain is moved, and at that time the kings of the earth, the rich, everybody, everyone is hiding in the dens of the rocks and caves of the mountains, bomb shelters and fallout shelters, and they're also mourning. Then what happens? Well, in Matthew 24 it says, and they will see the the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. He will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. And then it talks about a fig tree. Isn't that interesting that Revelation chapter 6 talks about figs too? Revelation 6.13, when figs drop from a Fig tree when shaken by a strong wind. So you get my drift. And then if you look at Revelation 7 verse 1. Continues the, uh, the sixth seal. After this I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Let's go back to uh, Matthew 24. What's it say? He will send his angels with a loud trumpet call. They will gather his elect from the four winds. I'm just saying it's all, it's the same event. That's the whole point. It's the same event. All right, so just get ready. Get your heart right with God. You can't get, you could have, you could be a multi, multi-millionaire. You could be the richest guy in the world. You could be Vladimir Putin. You could be Donald Trump. You could be Bill Gates. And you're still going to be hiding in the dens of the rocks and in the bomb shelters and fallout shelters calling out to God and mourning. So, you can be a prepper all you want, but if your heart's not right with God, and for those of you who already know, you've God's already prepared your heart, when it happens, 
You're going to be like, well, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm just saying. So get ready. Now, some people think that means the rapture will happen right then. No, after World War III, I'm just telling you, you'll find out later. If you don't believe me now, you'll find out when it happens. After World War III, everybody's hiding in the dens of the rocks and the caves of the mountains. Then Revelation 7, 1, there's a time of no wind after World War III. And if you look at your Bible, you'll see that after World War III, a bunch of people start dying from giant hail. So that's an indication of like a worldwide stillness of wind and then at some point some sort of nuclear winter just saying so i think i covered what i was supposed to cover in this video and you who are lukewarm god's gonna vomit you up so get your heart right with god <laughs> i had to say it i just had to all right Praise God. Jesus is Lord. Time's running out. Get your heart right with God. Listen, you're ready for everything. You are totally ready for everything if your heart's right with God. Because the Bible says in the same chapter, a woman clothed with the sun. That means that the that's the bride, okay? And she's clothed with Jesus, meaning she's wrapped up in him. And the sun represents thermonuclear. In other words, if you're part of the Bride of Christ, you can walk right through that mushroom cloud. You can slap that shockwave and say, get off me, sucker. I'm just saying, some people, I believe some people are going to come walking right, of that, right out of that mushroom cloud. Right out of ground zero, unburned, unhurt, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So, but if your heart's not right with God, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway, praise God. Hallelujah.